Ever wondered who was the genius behind the eccentric character Pee Wee Herman that we all loved in the 80s? It was none other than Paul Rubens. Born on a sunny fall day in the bustling city of Peekskill, New York, Rubens was destined to make his mark in the world of comedy and acting. Raised in a Jewish family, he was the son of a pilot in Israel's War of Independence, but he grew up in a home where laughter and humor were a part of everyday life. As a child, he was always the one to crack a joke or pull a prank to make his family laugh. His love for comedy was evident from a young age, and it was this passion that led him to create the iconic character we all know and love, uh, Pee Wee Herman. But before he became Pee Wee, who was Paul Rubens? Paul Rubens, born on August 27, 1952, had comedy running in his veins from a very young age. Growing up in Peekskill, Rubens was born into a family that cherished humor and wit. His early life was filled with laughter, setting the stage for his future comedic endeavors. Rubens' pursuit of comedy took a serious turn when he moved to California to attend California Institute of the Arts. There, he honed his craft, developing a unique comedic style that was both insightful and entertaining. In the 1970s, Rubens joined the Groundlings, a comedy troupe known for their improvisational performances. It was here that he met Phil Hartman, a fellow comedian and future collaborator. Together, they crafted a character that would change Rubens' life forever, Pee Wee Herman. Pee Wee was eccentric, childlike, and absolutely unforgettable. Rubens' portrayal of this character was so compelling that it quickly became a fan favorite. Pee Wee's signature gray suit, red bow tie, and quirky mannerisms were a hit with audiences, and Rubens knew he was onto something special. In 1981, Rubens debuted a stage show starring Pee Wee. This wasn't just a comedy act, it was a spectacle. With its unique blend of adult humor and childlike innocence, the show was an instant success. It was clear that Rubens had tapped into something unique with Pee Wee, and he was keen to see where this character could take him. But little did he know, Pee Wee was about to take him to places he hadn't imagined. With the success of his stage show, Rubens was ready to take Pee Wee to the big screen. And so, in 1985, Pee Wee's Big Adventure was born. The film, a quirky madcap adventure that perfectly encapsulated the zany spirit of the Pee Wee character, was a box office success. It introduced audiences worldwide to the unique charm of Pee Wee, and it was clear that Rubens had struck gold. Pee Wee's infectious laugh, <laughs> his mischievous grin and his iconic gray suit and red bow tie became synonymous with fun, laughter, and a dash of the unexpected. I'm trying to use the phone! I say we kill him. Yeah! I say we hang him, then we kill him. Yeah! I say we stop him. Yeah! Then we tattoo him. Yeah! Then we hang him. Yeah! And then we kill him. Yeah! Don't I get a last request? Why not? Following the success of Pee Wee's Big Adventure, Rubens took Pee Wee to the small screen, starring in the children's program Pee Wee's Playhouse from 1986 to 1990. The show was a hit, with children and adults alike tuning in to see what Pee Wee and his eclectic cast of puppet friends would get up to next. Pee Wee's Playhouse was not just a show, it was a cultural phenomenon. It was a space where imagination reigned supreme and every episode was a new, wild adventure. Rubens, as Pee Wee, became a household name. His character, with its distinctive voice and childlike joy, resonated with audiences. 
Rubens had taken a character that started as a comedic sketch and turned it into an enduring icon of pop culture. He had captured the hearts of millions with his portrayal of Pee Wee, a character who reveled in the joy of being different. However, not all that glitters is gold. In July of 1991, Rubens' career faced a major setback. The man behind Pee Wee Herman was arrested for indecent exposure in Sarasota, Florida, while watching a film in an adult movie theater. This controversy would cast a dark cloud over his otherwise sunny career. The news sent shockwaves through Hollywood and beyond, leaving fans and critics alike stunned. This was a difficult period for Rubens as the controversy put a pause on his career. The vibrant, goofy character of Pee Wee Herman was suddenly overshadowed by the scandal, and it seemed as though the laughter had stopped, but as we know, comedy is often born out of struggle, and Rubens was no stranger to this. During these trying times, Rubens showed immense resilience. He didn't let the scandal define him or his career, instead, he used it as a stepping stone, a chance to prove to himself and to the world that he was more than just a one-character actor. Eight long years later, in 1999, Rubens made a comeback. He took to the stage once more, not as Pee Wee Herman, but as Paul Rubens, the actor. He continued to act in various shows and films, showing his versatility and talent. Rubens' journey was a roller coaster of highs and lows, but through it all he remained true to his craft, his passion, and himself. He proved that every cloud has a silver lining, reminding us that it's not about the fall, but how you rise that truly defines you. Despite the trials and tribulations, Rubens never stopped. This line couldn't be more apt for the final chapters of Paul Rubens' life. After nearly a decade of being away from the spotlight, Rubens' 2010 return revived the character that had once been his downfall with a reimagined Pee Wee Herman show. Once again, he captured the hearts of audiences, both old and new, proving that talent and tenacity can indeed triumph over adversity. But Rubens wasn't done yet. Six years later, he donned Pee Wee's gray suit and red bow tie once more for Pee Wee's big holiday in 2016. The film, a delightful romp that recaptured the magic of Pee Wee's earlier adventures, served as a testament to Rubens' enduring charm and comedic genius. It was a fond reminder of why we loved Pee Wee Herman in the first place. Behind the scenes, however, Rubens was fighting a different kind of battle. A battle not against public opinion or career setbacks, but against a formidable adversary, cancer. Despite this, he continued to bring joy and laughter to millions, embodying the very essence of the phrase, the show must go on. On July 30th, 2023, at the age of 70, Rubens's fight with cancer came to an end at the Cedars-Sinai Medical Center in Los Angeles, his official cause of death being acute hypoxic respiratory failure. The world mourned the loss of a unique talent, a man who had gifted us with one of the most unforgettable characters in television history. Yet, even in his passing, Rubens' legacy as Pee Wee Herman lives on, a testament to his indomitable spirit, his creative genius, and his unwavering dedication to his craft. And with that, we conclude this entry into the Pantheon. Thank you for watching.